guys, Joe here with Worship Guitar Sound. Hey, just wanted to give you a quick midweek update. I'm still a little bit sick, I'm kind of getting over a cold here, but I've had a lot of questions come to the channel asking why I've switched from you know, the amp pedal board rig into a Line 6 Helix. So in this video, I want to give you three reasons as to why I've done that. All right, so first reason, the Line 6 Helix, in my situation, I'm a part of a, a church plant, and we have to set up a lot of stuff. Um, we load in a 25-foot trailer, 26-foot trailer, into a um, <clears throat> school auditorium, and we've got you know 20 or so people helping load all that stuff in, and trying to deal with you know a heavy amp, pedals, and um, just make all of that stuff work when there's so much else going on, um, just kind of gets in the way. So. I do love the sound of an analog board, but the convenience factor is, is number one. All right, so the second reason that I've moved to a Line 6 Helix over an analog rig is uh, weight. And the, the amp that I used to play was a Vox AC15 hand-wired, which is about a 45-pound amp, and I had that in a road case. So that would load into the trailer every once in a while, or I'd bring it home for doing you know radio work or recording. And while that was awesome, uh, it's heavy and just trying to load in all this other stuff you know if I can keep that weight down that speeds up my trip and allows me to help out with setup and everything else that we need to kind of accomplish on a, a Sunday morning so that was pretty critical to me and, and again the sound is still there so the third reason and I think one of the most important reasons is this channel I know that it's really fun to to play and collect pedals and, and amps and stuff but I know that everyone's rig can be considerably different and my purpose for this channel is to equip other worship leaders to have the tools they need to succeed on a Sunday morning and the helix to me is a no-brainer the advantage to this is that I can build patches for all of you guys that help give you the tools you need to succeed so I'm going to continue to build patches for different songs that I'm doing each week but then also just some universal patches that will load onto the channel. And that's not something that I would be able to do on an old analog rig. So between those three things, you know, I think it's a no-brainer for me to move into the Line 6 Helix as a full-time piece. Again, I still do have some of my older gear. I've got my, my Princeton that I've shown on this channel before and my same pedal board, um, which is still a blast. You know, I played that on Christmas, but um, ultimately, having something that I can help equip other worship leaders with, you know, I see it as a tool. So, now I hope that this is a useful video for you in helping decide whether or not to get a Line 6 Helix. Uh, drop any questions in the comments below. Again, subscribe for more content. I've got definitely more videos coming on different patches that I'll build. I've got a new one that I should be releasing by next week that is kind of a version 2 of my Ultimate Helix patch. So, I'll get that up soon. But hey, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for continuing.